What's up guys? So I figured out how to finally get KeePass XC working on Gen 2 after migrating to LibreSSL. Uh, those of you probably know that KeePass XC is the password manager that I prefer to use, but after experimenting with Gen 2 and, well, not so much Gen 2, but after migrating Gen 2 over to LibreSSL, I had problems trying to build it. But I was able to solve those problems, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it as well. The first problem that you'll run into with building KeePass XC is that you need to have Q Qt Network installed to get KeePass XC working. Uh, because KeePass XC depends on Qt Network. So this can be solved in the same way that we solved the Firefox Emerge by simply building Qt Network from the LibreSSL overlay. Uh, if you're not sure how to get this LibreSSL overlay or you don't know how to use Layman or anything like that, I made a video for how to do all of it, so check that out. Uh, but yeah, you just need to go into this directory within your LibreSSL overlay dev Qt Qt network. And the package that we want to install is Qt network 5.14.1. So you wanna have this one. You don't want to do 5.14.2 because for whatever reason, KeePass XC just isn't able to build against it. So you wanna go ahead and do your ebuild Qt network ebuild manifest and then once you've done that you can go ahead and merge qt network and it should automatically pull in the correct one uh, now qt network does have a few different dependencies that it's got to build first um, it's actually if i'm not mistaken it's actually the qt core that was creating the issues with keypass xc um, this one, as you can see, it's pulling in Qt Core 5.14.1. If you try to build the newer version, it's gonna build in Qt Core 5.14.2. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this install, and then when it's done, I'll go ahead and install KeePass XC so that you guys can see that it is indeed working on Gen 2 with LibreSSL. So as you can see, Qt Network is now built from the LibreSSL overlay. So now let's go ahead and emerge, KeePass XC. And now this is gonna go ahead and build. And I'll pause it again, because this one's got 14 dependencies on it, so it's probably gonna take a few minutes longer for this one to finish emerging. All right, so our KeePass XC has finished emerging. Let's head over to a blank workspace and go ahead and launch it. And boom, there you go. So that's how you get KeePass XC working on Gen 2 if you've migrated to LibreSSL. Be sure to leave a like and share this video with anyone who you think would find it useful.